Yeah, it feels like a lot of times, like a game, when it first comes out, it's like, okay, this is a game, everyone buys it. And then a day later, or a week later, depending on how long, you know, it takes for another game to come out, it's just gone. It's, it's gone, it's under the shelf, it's under the book, you know, how, how it goes. Yeah. You put it on the shelf, you don't look at it until, you know, three years down the road, and you're like, oh yeah, I still have that game. And then usually people just go and sell it. They like, I don't, I'm not going to play that anymore, so they just sell it. Yeah, no kidding. And there are games that you can go on the shelves, and like, let's say, for a good example, one of my favorite PS2 hidden gems, SLAI, which is a mech fighting game. You see that on the shelf, you're like, what the hell is this game? And you just look at it. And if you actually take the time, pick it up, take it out of the shelf, look at it, you're like, oh, this looks interesting. Go home, play it. You might see that it's an amazing game and you just never heard of it. Right. I feel, oh. like that, I feel like that happens with a lot of things, though, like, uh, especially with, like, uh, movies and stuff like that. Uh, a lot Definitely. Of, a lot of people are like, oh, it's a great movie. And then they never think about it again after they leave the theater or after they watch it once on DVD. They just throw it into the shelf and they're like, okay, <laughs> now what do yep. I do with this? <laughs> now what do I do with this? Yeah. It, it's almost every genre of not just gaming, but just anything experiences this too. Um, I mean, gaming is just what, I'm ex- what I excel at. So it's what I wanted to focus more on. But yeah, definitely... Uh, movies too have this, especially B movies. Oh my god, I love B movies. <laughs> like the one with Jerry Seinfeld. Oh no, not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that threw me off so bad. <laughs> no, not that movie. Yeah, it's a B movie. But I, B- I get you. Get yeah, B movies. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like, there are so many great uh, gems out there with B movies, and you never really know what you're going to get so you start watching like one of my and the best part is when you watch a b movie you kind of don't have a bar to set like you're just like okay i'm gonna watch this i have no idea what to expect so let's just take it from here like you go to watch let's say uh a marvel movie you have a pretty high bar on what you expect you know and you, you kind of know what's going to happen yeah you kind of know what's going to happen from the comics and stuff so you kind of know what what you want to see when it comes to b movies oh you have no idea Oh, we watched a movie called Zombievers. And <laughs> <laughs> that's on Netflix, right? Yes, it's on Netflix, and it was probably the greatest movie I've ever seen. And I died laughing so hard because of how creative they got with it. And I mean, of course, I couldn't take it seriously because Zombievers. <laughs> <laughs> but it was such a great movie, and I would have never expected, like, I've never would have never tried to look for it. Otherwise, you know, if I wasn't, if I didn't have my mindset when it comes to uh, looking for gems, looking for underrated stuff. Right. I, I, my favorite B movie has got to be, uh, um, uh, Dead Snow. I, I love that freaking movie. It's, it's like, it's over the top. I mean, the guy gets killed by a zombie inside a porta potty. I, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's great. And I mean, the ending is just like. The, the one guy has like a an axe and they're like just chopping zombies up and chainsawing them. It, it's it's a great B movie if you haven't seen it. Um, Dead Snow. It's uh, it's English subtitles because I think it's a German film, but it's it's oh it's awesome, so freaking good. I think there's a second one out now, but I never got around to watching it. Mmm mmm. Thanks for watching that biscuit with me. Mmm, cooked to perfection. If you want to check out the person's channel, click the other link. If you want to, please check out the full podcast and check out the playlist for the Fair Business Podcast. I'm Yemi, and I'll see you next time.